This is the first stage of my development in order to bypass the uh, sequence of handbrake and parking brake that's required to get in the configuration mode on the Alpine navigation stereo. So I built the circuit, uh, done the programming to uh, make that sequence happen via circuit automatically. Currently I have uh, just toggle switches on the, in the vehicle. I didn't want to tap into the factory brake and uh, foot, br foot brake and handbrake lines so uh, came up with the automatic circuit to do this. So I'll plug it in and show how it works. On the left there's an LED here that um, is going to be for the foot brake and then this LED here is going to be for the handbrake controlled off relays so you can see the sequence happening. I plug this in So what happened was that the foot brake came on and then the uh, hand brake went on and off and back on again. After that the foot brake went off and that's the sequence that's required. Uh, now really these are just, um, so these are not going to come from the actual hand brake and foot brake when this is installed. It's really just um, ground and and power via the relay. So the circuit is pretty simple. Um, there's very few components here. You might be able to do this with something other than relays. They're kind of big and noisy, but they're also the safest as far as keeping the circuit isolated. Um, so how, what I did was First you have a voltage regulator, takes you from 12 volts to 5 volts so that you can run your PIC processor that contains the code. And then you drive your two relays via transistors so that it's uh, not, not being driven, so all that current's not being driven from the PIC. And then the only other thing will be here's the port where you program the pick. You won't necessarily need that in the final circuit. So next step is I'm going to put it on a board so it'll be more permanent circuit. I will also um, increase the delay, the startup delay, to give the navigation time to start up before it goes through the sequence. Right now it's just starts fast so I can do troubleshooting but I'll, I'll unplug it and you can see when the power would the vehicle would be turned off both relays would be off and then when you plug in turn on the vehicle so there you go Okay, here's completed phase two where I mounted the components in the uh, project case using also the uh, prototyping board here. So same circuit, um, everything is just soldered on here, so a little bit more permanent. And then bought this as a unit, the case and the board. Okay. Oh. And then on the breadboard here, just have power coming in here to the board. That's 12 volt and ground. And then coming out of the board from the relays. Um, the handbrake, the green wire supplies 
a ground and the foot brake, the blue wire supplies um, 12 volts. So I'll plug it in again. And I also reprogrammed it to about 15 seconds since I went and timed how long it started to t turn on the stereo. So there you go. And as expected, the handbrake remains on. Uh, that's necessary to remain in the configuration mode. So that will remain on until the power goes off. And I'll take out the power. And it turns off. So here's the box all wired up, mounted on top of a factory module. Um, there's the switches that I replaced, so these are going away. And that'll be a much cleaner installation. Here's the final install. So car is now off. I'm going to turn on the ignition. I kept the volume down so you could hear the clicking, but normally by the time that starts the music is playing. You can't really hear it anyway. So just turn to accessory. See it's off. You can hear the clicking, and now the configuration mode is enabled automatically and stays enabled.